These are my top four higher end public golf courses in the East Bay. Let's do it. What's up everybody, my name is Cooper Eisenman and if you haven't seen my videos before, I'm a full-time real estate agent in the Tri-Valley and San Ramon Valley areas of the East Bay Area and those cities consist of Livermore, Pleasanton, Dublin, San Ramon, Danville, and Alamo. I have been getting a ton of calls, texts, and emails from people who have found me online or more specifically YouTube and need some questions answered about the area or need help buying and or selling a home, so please reach out to me anytime if you need my help. My information is gonna be down here at the bottom. I always get back to you within 15 or 20 minutes, so it's super fast and super convenient. Now, in all honesty, this video is coming directly out of response from a commenter on my last golf course video from last year who said, that list was a crap list, and I did not specify in that last video that it was golf courses that are more affordable, not necessarily nicest. So as a response to him, I am making a new golf course video right now that is highlighting some of the nicest, more high-end courses that we have available to us in the East Bay. So let's get into it. And just like all of my top four, top five videos, this is not a worst to best or best to worst video. It is simply the top four that came to my mind that I know are gorgeous courses and are not necessarily the most inexpensive, but rather the nicest places to play. Now, number one on my list is Wente. Now, Wente is a 7,181 yard par 72, gorgeous golf course that is tucked in the back of the Livermore Valley, located, of course, in Livermore. Now, the rates to play at Wente are between 70 and $140 Monday through Thursday and between $80 and $170 Friday through Sunday, depending on the time of play, and carts are not included in those green fees, and those range between $15 and $20. It's pretty standard, that $15 to $20 range, depending on the course you play at. Number two on my list is Poppy Ridge. Now, Poppy Ridge offers three nine-hole courses located in a vast landscape in the southeastern part of Livermore. The three nine-hole courses are broken down into the Chardonnay 9, a par 36, 3,513 yard nine hole course, the Merlot nine, a par 36, 3,593 yard nine hole course, and the Zinfandel nine, a par 36, 3,535 yard nine hole course. All of which of course are named after wine grapes for the well-known Livermore Valley wine scene. The rates at Poppy differ between NCGA members and non-members. NCGA members do get a discount because Poppy Ridge is the home course for the NCGA. But regardless on if you're a member or not, you can expect to pay between $60 and $100 a round and carts are not included in those green fees and again, those carts range between $15 and $20. Now number three on my list is Calipe. Now Calipe is a par 72, 6,748 yard course that is located in the southern part of Pleasanton, surrounded by lush greenery and behind a neighborhood of gorgeous custom built homes. Now rates at Calipe are between $40 and $70 around, depending on if you're a member to the club or not and carts are not included in those green fees, and again, you can expect to pay anywhere between $15 and $20 a round. Now number four and last on my list is Bridges. Now Bridges is a par 72, 6,861 yard course 
located off of Bollinger Road in San Ramon on the east side of 680 Freeway. Bridges is a really well maintained and gorgeous course located in a small valley surrounded by the Bridges home development. And Bridges is also home to one of the largest greens and I can't remember if it's in California or the in western part of the country but it is massive and that is the 18th green so you definitely will not miss it and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about when you play that hole. Now rates at Bridges range between $50 and $90 a round depending on the time you play and that does include car fees. Now that list was specifically for public golf courses that anybody can play at without a membership and unfortunately and fortunately Danville and Alamo has a lot of gorgeous golf courses but they're all private so if you know anybody who is a member at those courses or you are interested in becoming a member at one of those private courses, I would highly recommend you go check them out. Now some of those country clubs that are private that you can become a member at include Diablo Country Club, Crow Canyon Country Club, Black Hawk Country Club, and Round Hill. If you are interested in learning more about those private courses or becoming a member at their country club, I would recommend checking them out online and seeing what the rates will be and what you need to do to become a member. But at the end of the day, I am super grateful to live where we do because we have so many nice courses that are public that do not require a membership. And this list was some of my top four. There are many, many other courses that are available to us in the Tri-Valley and San Ramon Valley areas that are public. So I highly recommend you go play them all. I have played almost all of them and it gives me and everybody else a ton of options to keep in rotation so we don't get bored of where we're playing. Thank you so much for watching. I am always here to answer any questions you may have, whether it be about the area in general, how the market is doing, what neighborhoods may be best for you and your family, etc. And if you need help buying and or selling a home, please reach out to me. I'll help you any way that I can. My information will be down here at the bottom. I always get back to you within 15 or 20 minutes. So it's super fast and super convenient. Thank you so much.